I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will further explore combination of functions. Question number 18 from previous test paper. Consider f of x equals to 2x and g of x equals to absolute x. You need to sketch the graph of h of x, which is quotient of f of x and g of x. Write domain and range of h of x. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's write down these functions first. So we have h of x as the ratio of f of x and g of x. That means 2x over absolute x. Now as you know, absolute x is defined as equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and minus of x if x is less than 0. Right? Therefore, we could write h of x as 2x over x or 2x over minus x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and if x is less than 0 right so that is how hx is going to be right now clearly you can see here that if you simplify this function what do you get so let me write down here h of x is equals to this implies that h of x is indeed equal to so let me just take some room here so when you divide x and x you get 2 here and if you divide x by minus x you get minus 2 and that is when x is greater than or equals to 0 and this is when x is less than 0 do you get the point so that is what the function is right and uh, it is discontinuous at x equals to 0 so here domain does not include x right since x is in the denominator right now so you can draw when x is greater than 2 let us say this is 1 and this is 2 for us and let's say this is minus 1 and this is minus 2 for us on the graph then the function is there's a hole here right and then kind of like this do you see that a hole here and to the left side where these values are plus 2 and minus 2 that is h of x that is x for you and now you can write domain you know domain is x belongs to real numbers but x is not equal to 0 as far as the range is concerned range is y belongs to real numbers I could write uh, y is I should write y equals to plus minus 2 okay in fact it's good to write only y equals to plus minus 2 since y has only two values here right but anyway that's not wrong but this is better y equals to plus minus 2 right so that is how this function is going to be so have a good look at it try to understand the ratio of a linear function and absolute function is normally a step function like this. I hope that helps. Thank you.